Okay, so this video is about the Red Advance fuses, of which I have two, the Crazy Short Red Advance and the Short Red Advance. I started off with the Ultra Short Non Advance fuse, and I used that for a long, long time with, uh, with all my big foils. Um, and I was really happy with that, it's a great all-rounder. And uh, when the Red Advance fuses came out, I decided to go with the longest one, which ironically is called the Short, uh, because the extra length is really useful for dock starting and flat water pumping. Um, the extra length is, is much more efficient when you're pumping, especially over distance. Uh, but the shortest one, the Crazy Short, um, I wanted the, uh, the shortest one for uh, wing foiling, uh, wake foiling, uh, foil driving around in weak mushy waves, that sort of thing, um, where the manoeuvrability is really important um, from the, the shorter length. So, the foils that I'm using uh, with the red fuses, the 1310, the 1300 and the 1010. I started off with the 1150, year or a couple of years ago at least now um, and I've been able to borrow that back to include while I was testing the uh, the advanced fuses so I've used all four of those extensively with the red advanced fuses and what did I find well rather unsurprisingly for this bit at least is that everything that you may have already heard about the black advanced fuses can be directly related to the red advanced fuses um, they give a really lovely surfy feel to all of the foils. Um, they increase the maneuverability. Um, you get uh, more reactivity. They're, they're much easier to initiate turns. Um, you can do tighter turns. Um, loosens up the whole foil and uh, in, in a good way. There's no loss of control, but it just feels looser and more dynamic. That would be a good way to, to describe the feeling um, it makes the foils more dynamic, more reactive, um, and really it, it makes each foil seem or perform about a size smaller. Um, so you get benefits of, of you know, a smaller foil, but still retaining the, the lift and the glide that you get from the, the big foil. Um, so, those are all things that we probably already know. But the main reason for me doing this video is for me to, to put out there just how much better I think these advanced fuses um, are in terms of pumping these big foils, especially the 1310. Now, I find, and I know there's a few people out there as well who, who have said um, that they find the 1310 a bit more technical to pump than, than the other PNG foils. Um, not say so it's super difficult, it, it's a lovely foil to pump. It can pump it for a lot longer than any other foil, um, but it is, I think, a little bit more technical. And if you get it wrong, it can suddenly stall and, and just drop out on you. Um, and I've, analyzed, I've tried to analyze what I'm doing when this happens and, and what I'm doing to cause that to happen. So this, this is, these are my thoughts about it anyway. So when you're pumping, um, you've got to get the angle right according to, to what part of the pump action that you're doing. So when you're pushing down, you want a little bit of a, obviously I'm going to exaggerate the, the angle here for purposes of, of the explanation. So when you're pushing down on the pumping action, you want to be angling the foil down. And when you're springing back up again and unweighing yourself, you want to angle the board up. So front foot pressure to initiate the pump, you're pressing down on the board and then back foot pressure and then you're springing up and now you're angling the, uh, the foil up. And as such, the foil moves through the water with maximum efficiency. But if you get that wrong and you push down when the foil is angled up, then you're creating like a braking effect. And I think that the 1310 is especially sensitive to that. And as such, if you're trying to, to push down when the angle is wrong, and it's, it's too high an angle at the front, then it causes it to stall and, and, and drop out. I could be wrong, that, that's my personal theory, that's what it feels like is happening. Whether I'm right or, or wrong, that, that's 
my, uh, my perspective. Um, so, what's the big deal with uh, the advanced fuses? The advanced fuses have completely eliminated that issue. And now, I'm not kidding, no word of a lie, the 1310 is as easy to pump as the 1150 with the advanced fuse. It's just gotten rid of all those technical issues that I have with it. You may not have those technical issues with uh, pumping the 1310. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, stalling is no longer an issue. Um, I can dig myself out of holes that normally I would have been stalling and and uh, you know um, coming off the, off the, uh, off foil. And it's not just for pumping, it's really helped to, to smooth out turns as well. I mean, with a crazy short, you do get a very noticeable increase in turning performance, but it's not just that you can turn tighter, it's just smoother and it eliminates, like sometimes if, if you get it wrong, it can buck you off, like you're expecting the foil to go one way um, or, or you're expecting to change the foil uh, direction and it carries on going the direction it's going but you've anticipated the change so it throws you off um, again probably me in error but the advanced fuses has just smoothed all of that out and and that's no longer happening unless I make a seriously big mistake um, so yeah really really I think a big improvement um, for all the foils that I've used them with especially the 1310 it's like a cheat code for that foil it really is I would not go back to the non-advanced fuses at all now. I have, and, and it's like, no, <laughs> no, what's the point? Um, so, why have I got a stick and a box of matches in front of me? Well, I'm gonna try and use them to model um, the principle that I've been talking about. So if you imagine that this uh, bit of wood is the fuselage, um, this is the front end, so where the, the foil would bolt onto, um, and the matchbox, I'm just gonna show you where the mast position is, Obviously, I'm going to exaggerate it back here for the non-advanced fuse, moving it forward <laughs> for the advanced fuses. Um, and the height of the matchbox will represent the, um, the, the change that I make to the foil. So keeping the change the same. Um, so if the mass position is further back and I change the angle of the foil by that amount, then you can see the distance that it's moved, just a few inches and the new angle. But if I move the foil, sorry, if I move the mast further forwards and make the same change, look at the change in the angle. It's much bigger. So what this tells me is that by moving the mast further forwards in the fuse, it's making it more sensitive to your input. In other words, the changes that you make have a bigger effect, have a bigger impact, or make more of an impact. Um, it's giving you more control. Ultimately, that's what's happening. And as such, I can understand it when people, I've heard people saying that they don't think the advanced fuses are as good for pumping as the non-advanced fuses. Well, I'm thinking, Maybe that's because the advanced fuses make everything more sensitive to your input um, and you get more control, but you've got to be more precise because you've got more control. And if, if you get that wrong, then you lose efficiency and it, it's, it doesn't seem as good. But really, is, is that because you're not used to it yet? Well, when I started off with the red crazy advance and the black silly short advance, um, yeah, it, it was it was a little bit um, took me by surprise. Um, I felt a little bit unstable, but I very quickly got used to it. And I've used them a lot now, and I'm I feel like I've dialed them in. And I love that extra control. I really do love the extra control that you get from them. Um, like I say, it just makes them all feel more dynamic. Um, all the foils that I've used with them, especially in 1310. And it's not just me, I've got friends, a couple of friends who have uh, um, who have used my advanced fuses with their uh, PNGs, but also with their BSC foils that fit on red fuses. And both of them have said 
that they were blown away by how much easier it was to pump them, how much better they were for turning. Um, and yeah, they agreed that uh, it makes each foil seem slightly smaller um, and therefore you get the performance benefits from a smaller foil, but the performance benefits of the bigger foil in terms of lift um, and, uh, and glide in, in small swell or light wind. So yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't go back to, to using the non-advanced fuses now. Um, I've got the short and the crazy short, but the ultra short would be a brilliant compromise um, between the two, um, like it is in the non-standard. So uh, I think I've said everything I need to. Um, please let me know if you agree or disagree with me. If you think that I'm wrong, please don't let me live in ignorance. Correct me, I'd welcome that. Um, but anyway, there we go. Signing off for this time. More later. Cheers.